Hey, it's MotoBit, and before I start, I, for those of you who have been asking, I am going to be doing this, it's like a little, I guess, an artistic thing with reflective tape on this helmet, um, and thank you to you who know I'm talking about, or talking about this reflective tape, and uh, kind of inspired doing a creative little thing on this helmet, so that is to come, as you can see I already started it. But anyway, I want to get to the, the topic of this video, which is a response to a uh, YouTube vlogger, motorcycle vlogger, who I have uh, a lot of respect for. He's a great entertainer. Uh, I haven't been subscribed to him as long as, as others, but uh, I found his videos and, and found them to be <laughs> very entertaining. Some of them even uh, very educational. And he also has a private series, which you um, pay a very nominal fee. It's uh, and you get uh, even more content, uh, more insight and things like that. So um, I'll leave some links if you're interested in that and, and, and into his channel. And before I forget to give his name, because I, I tend to do that, I talk about something and they go like, well, who the hell is it? Uh, he goes by M13 or Mordeth13. So anyway, the links will be in the description. So getting back to like the title of this video, it's a response to two videos that he's had. He's, he's an animal lover good thing, and posed uh, like, like a video of saying, well, we, we, we have compassion for animals, uh, love for animals, and when they're suffering, we put them down to end their suffering. Why don't we do this for humans? And then there's lots of responses, and people say, well, no, well, you know, there's, there's, uh, humans are more valuable than, than dogs, and all kinds of, like, I love humans more than, than animals, this and that, and so he came back and said, if I can, if I can paraphrase them, the best uh, is that okay. Well, if you love an animal, then you, you put that animal down out of love. And if a human, you love a human more, you know, you love your your family member more, then it is more important to end their suffering, and therefore you put them down. I in comments really suck. And I hate YouTube comments. Try to put an alternate view and saying, well, no. That, that you can love something in, in different degrees, you know, different qualities, and this can stem to the, the philosophical debate of, of kindness versus love and, and differences thereof, but I won't get into that. And I don't want to get into all these legal things, because I assume he already knows. You know, his, his argument is more of, of in that logical loop of saying, you know, if love equals this, then it should be this. You know, outside of all oh, human rights and property and la da 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 and all this other stuff and and, and, and is it suicide? Or I'm not going to even get any of that. I'm going to try to keep this just concise to saying, well, I get his logic, but it is also logical, you know, to say what I'm arguing in that based upon one's values, obviously. One can have more love for something than another thing, right? That's, we already know that. But, using the context of love, death is a means of treatment. And when we talk about euth euthanasia, right? Death is the treatment, in other words. Which, for uh, those that I guess would believe similar to me, and their value set, put the, the, the price of life at that mark, okay? Because death is a means of treatment. But for something that I love more, like my wife or my son or whatever, you know, uh, uh, other relatives, loved ones, uh, their price of life merits, uh, death is not considered a treatment. Fighting for their life to the to, to, to ultimate exhaustion, I mean, the, to, even to the point where you may not even be able to do anything else other than have hope, even to that extent where you are sitting there with your loved one and, and that the last inkling of hope, that is how, I should say, priceless that life is versus uh, my, my, my dog. You know, I'll, well, I'll give him a personal my own personal experiences. I've, I have had four stray cats. I, I have two stray cats. 
Um, one I had to put down. The other, sadly, was run over by some idiot on my street uh, whom I've had uh, words with. But um, I have a dog, too. The, the, the cat was very ill. Man, it was it was just it was a terrible thing. We did we did some things, but it got to a point where it was like, no, it's too expensive. It's not worth it to to go on, and therefore let's put them down. Now I took that stray cat, and I brought him from Dallas to Houston, and I took responsibility. So yes, I have an act of kindness and an act of love to put that animal down because it was not worth it to continue to do everything else that I would exert for a family member. Now, that may not be the same value set and, and, and commitment priority that others have. Quite certainly, I know people that go to great lengths for their animal, uh, their pets as well. Euthanasia for animals is not always used as compassion. It's people are moved like they'll use it for, oh, I'm, I'm going to an apartment that can't, that can't, uh, that won't take pets. And I can't, I, it's too much to find a home. I'm just going to, I'm going to put them down. That's not really a whole lot of love. You just, really devalued the life of that animal. Now, M13 came back in a comment and says, well look, third world countries, animals are just treated cra you know, like crap. I know. Well, my wife um, is from Guatemala and I visited Guatemala s several times and, and, and a lot of the times, animals there are, are just a lot of them are treated like bugs, you know, and if you're a bug lover, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Cockroaches, whatever. They're just, there's no connection whatsoever. They have no place in, in many of their lives. And some of them are beaten. It's, it's like a peasant, you know, gapped. You know, you're, you're the nothing. It's, it's just nothingness. So, M13 is presenting and saying, okay, well, those that do love, then obviously put them down. So the absence of love equals this suffering. That's true. The absence of love... Um, can allow by absence suffering to continue, but it, uh, love can also um, equate to enduring pain and suffering as well. And uh, many, whether it's uh, let's say in, someone's not even terminally ill, we can, we can for a larger goal or something, we can endure a tremendous amount of pain and suffering to to achieve something, which means that we've put worth, a, a great deal of worth on that end object, obviously, right? So it goes back to saying, all right, my, my, it's not worth it for me to do all this. I love the pet and, I, and I've, and I've, you know, I, 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 I I'm, the, we'll go out and buy clothes for them and, and toys and play and walk and make sure their, their life is, is just absolutely great and uh, to the best within certain means. Now, getting back to that third world country, um, many of them don't even have the means to even consider taking on on a, a pet, and therefore it's probably not even allowed to go into their mental thought process that this is even something they should even worry about. Period. I, I've read other quotes and things from people, and I know that this leads into this big debate on this. Uh, there was one nurse who, she quoted it and said, you know, she was a, a big dog lover, took care of her dog, did all these, I mean, was one of the, you know, dressed them up and talked to all the, carried them in the bag and everything. And 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 she quite succinctly said, I, I just don't have the same, I love my dog, but I don't have the same value of the dog for her like I have for my son. And took it in another course where she said she, um, she she would take a bullet for her son, but wouldn't take a bullet for her dog. I think it's I think it's pretty potent, but I know that there are other circles uh, of arguments that will come on well on context of suffering. But I think the point of it is is that there can be different sets of values for something, even though love exists for both. So that's all I'm saying is that. Is that yes? There, it, it, it is. It is logical to say, you can love something so much that it is inconceivable that death would be be considered a treatment. That fighting until the bitter end is what is necessary. And yeah, it sucks that there's a society out there. And I and I'll give a story about a, a great lady. She, she taught me solitaire. Lived on my, my on my parents' street. That the, her children um, 
could care, didn't care less. They, they just, well, no, they weren't her children. They were her relatives. She didn't have children. And um, they moved her into a old folks home and didn't do it. And I tried to visit her and they denied me access. And all they were interested in was getting her money. They could care less. So yes, there are sets of values of people that treat other people like, like utter shit, right? So that's, that's a definite truth. Uh, but I don't think that takes away from the logic of saying that you can love something so much that it is inconceivable to think death is a, is a justifiable treatment. But nonetheless, it does say that there's different value sets, and it's it, it's the entire gamut of what people' um, values and, 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 and priorities are. Anyway, guys, hope it wasn't too long, and I'll catch you in the next ride.